It was a rainy Thursday night when I first started reading her essay. Outside, the street lights were flickering and my head was aching from hours of sleepless marking. I'm not sure when it first became apparent to me that something was missing. Maybe it was the eerie lack of a thesis statement, or just the sentence after sentence full of vague generalities. But something was wrong. I could feel it in my bones. By the time I got to the end of the introduction, I knew I would have to feel my way blindly onwards. The argument was missing, vanished, seemingly into thin air. The place where it was meant to be was empty and bare. I'd seen some tough cases in my time, but this one had me stumped. The hours disappeared like the ice in my glass. Outside, the rain beat harder against my window. I paced the streets trying to clear my mind. Time was running out, but I was no closer to solving the mystery. Where was the argument? I knew everything depended on me cracking the case, but it was proving futile. Each paragraph I read seemed rife with irrelevance. If only I could understand. Far off in the distance, the clock struck midnight. Hope was fading now. The argument would stay lost forever. And then, in a flash, I saw it. Right there in the conclusion, clear as day. Right away, I knew who the culprit was. She'd been avoiding me at every turn, feeding me red herrings, leading me up irrelevant paths. Finally, everything made sense. So here's the moral of the story, kids. You're writing an essay, not a whodunit. Reveal your argument in the introduction. Don't leave it as a mystery to surprise your reader at the end. You can get more study tips and advice on the Study Smarter website. Brought to you by UWA Student Services.